we're here with Doreen Sudell. She is editor of Aerospace Frontiers at NASA Glenn Research Center. Thank you, Doreen, for joining us. Thank you. The editor for Aerospace Frontiers pretty much does the complete publication. We're responsible for finding stories, uh, see what's going on in the center, and interviewing the people, writing the stories, editing. We do the layout, and we also do some photography for the newsletter. I have a Bachelor of Arts degree from Ashland College, and I have over 20 years of experience in writing. And you don't necessarily need that much experience for this job, but you do need to have um, some writing background in journalism, and you also have to be to be familiar with um, desktop publishing and web-based publishing. So the technical aspects would be um, the computer-based um, applications, and then I, you need to have a good background in journalism. What is the newsletter? Like, who's their audience, and what Our, is in the newsletter? The newsletter is a monthly newsletter that goes to employees and retirees. And what our goal is, is to inform and educate the people that work at NASA Glenn about what their fellow co-workers are doing. And also to stay in touch with our retirees who are a valuable resource to us. If, if we were looking to hire, we, we would definitely look for a student who has a writing background, a journalism degree, a communications degree. Um, someone who has has a little bit of experience in writing, um, has had an internship, wrote for the high school paper, wrote for your college paper, maybe did a little bit of writing um, for your local newspaper. Mm -hmm. So we definitely wanted some experience and we need somebody who's outgoing too, not afraid to ask questions, mm -hmm. someone who's a people person. I guess now um, the change would be we want the computer background. Mm -hmm. Um, the internet, the web-based applications, being able to do an online newsletter, which we have done in the past, uh, that and the knowledge of the you know web or uh, um, desktop publishing, which I did not know when I got into this field. Um, what's since your nine years being there? Um, what has changed since your first day on the job since today? Um, well, the newsletter has evolved a lot. Um, we're constantly trying to stay in touch with employees and what they want, um, what they want to read. We've done surveys. Um, so I guess what's changed is we've realized that people are looking for shorter articles. Um, you know, they don't have a lot of time. We, we tried for a while doing an online publication and discovered that our employees um, would, wouldn't keep, you know, would read it, look at it when it came out, but they wouldn't go back to it. So they're looking for something that's portable, they can carry the newsletter with them. Um, you know, so we just really tried to keep in touch with, with people, trying to give the readers the articles they're looking for. When you're working on an article, what's more important, the science involved or the, art, or the story itself? Okay. Um, since I'm not a technical writer and I don't have a technical background, it's up to me to understand the technology enough that I can give the reader a general idea um, about what the technology is about and how it's helping people and how it's, how it's helping our nation and, and that kind of thing. Well, thank you for being with thank us. You.